Greetings, and welcome to, again to another installment of the Law and Testimony. We're the brothers from the Congregation of Israel, the Knesset of Jesus. I'm your host, Sarita Nashan, and this is Brother Zadok, a teacher also from the Congregation of Israel. And we're going to deal also today with the second installment of the Nationality of Jesus and Adam. Now, we showed you already, if you watched the first installment, that the bloodline does not matter. When you, do, when you read gene, uh, the genealogy of Jesus in Luke, the third chapter, going all the way back to Adam, it don't matter. Because we see that men before the flood, before there was a nation, through their merits of righteousness, they have inherited the kingdom of God. They're waiting Amen. on the promise while they were right. right. You know, through faith, these brothers did this thing. Enoch, Noah, and so on and so forth. Abel. And for those to say that a nation is not going to get salvation because of their wickedness, well, you have to prove that the Lord will not hear them in their repentance. We're going to look at some of these things. We're also going to look at the second Adam, because we see the first Adam was an earthy man. The second Adam was made a quickening spirit. So I'm not going to waste any more time. We're going to get right into this, and we're going to deal with nationality according to the way it's set up in the scriptures. All right, Brother Zadok, let's expound on this. Thank you, Brother Nashon. And, and, and I just like to say first out the gate that we, you know, y'all don't personally know us. Right. We don't personally know any of you. But those who may be around us, they in a sense, they could probably tell you in their own opinion that I'm kind of a fanatic for the redemption of my people. Yes. You understand? This is not about in any way a slight to all the promises and all the adoptions and the covenants and all the oracles. Everything given to our fathers, brother. Right. You understand what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, we're going to straight set the tone on how the Lord feel about us, his people, his chosen people, that he, the first ones that he, the first nation he came to out of all the sons of men to give them his holy and righteous and divine perfect law. Let's go to Isaiah 41, brother. Let's go to Isaiah 41, and we're going to start reading at verse 8. Isaiah 41, and we're going to start reading at verse 8, just to set the tone on how we feel and what we agree in our Lord with for our people. Go ahead. But thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend, that's right, thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called thee from the chief men thereof, and said unto thee, thou art my servant, I have chosen thee and not cast thee away. And part of our service is actually being priests and kings. He said that the he said, I will make you a nation of priests. That's right. Now the tribe of Levi are priests right. to the nation of Israel, right. but the whole nation of Israel is priests. The only use and the only reason to have a nation full of priests is to go and be priests for somebody else beside themselves. That's right. The whole reason that the tribe of Levi were priests was to serve the whole nation of Israel. So who is this whole nation of priests called Israel supposed to serve? Definitely can't be All the themselves. rest of the sons of That's Adam right. teaching them and whooping That's them right. in shape, helping them get back in order to the true and living God. That's right. That's what it's all about. Brother, skip down and continue at verse 11. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them and shalt not find them, even them that contended with thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. Amen. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Yes. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Now the Lord said, Don't fear you worm mm -hmm. Jacob. Why did he, he, he also said that to let you know our place. We small. We might know. We got nothing without him. Didn't Christ say without me, ye can do nothing? Right. So without him, we a worm. We buried, buried, crawling through the dirt. You understand what I'm saying? Some cat going to text me talking about um, Israel is, is born. It's more of Israel than any other nation. But not that that's not according to Deuteronomy chapter 7. That's right. The Lord said that when I put this curse upon you, I'm going to scatter you to the four ends of the earth. And you shall be left few in number among the nations. Few. So where you get that from? The scripture don't agree with you. Moses said you was lying. The brother who wrote that comment. That's you understand right. what I'm saying? That's right. We are the minority in the flesh. But you can say that there is more in the spirit. 
That's right. Because Israel supersedes flesh and blood now that the second man from heaven has been revealed. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because what does it say in Romans? All of those who are in Israel are not Israel. A Jew is not one outwardly but inwardly. Yes, and that goes into a whole nother teaching. And you can keep tuning in because God willing, he's going to allow us to keep attacking this topic along with many other topics that deal with the gospel. I'm dealing, The brothers allowed at me and gave me the, uh, a choice of being able to deal with this as far as talking back and forth with us and our other Hebrew Israelite brethren who's searching for this truth. But we talking to all men. We got This ain't the only topic we deal with, y'all, so I don't want anybody to be cut off. But we got to deal with this because this is what's pervading the airwaves about the Hebrew Israelites. The Hebrew Israelites hate everybody. We racist. We prejudiced. Everybody else ain't nothing and we everything. But we the descendants of those who were made slaves. The Lord even said in the mouth of his prophets, right. you taught the nations how to blaspheme That's against right. me. That's right. So we want to diss everybody else, but the Lord out of the mouth of his own prophet said, Israel has showed the heathen how to do wrong. That's right. By us having the truth and going That's against written. it. That's written. That's written. So we, they're worse than us. The Lord said, I have begun to punish the name and the place and the people called by my name. Mm -hmm. And told the rest of the nations, y'all ain't going to go unpunished either. Mm -hmm. So they're going to get punished, but we got punished too. We not no better. No, sir. According to our flesh. That's why we got to get away from this flesh, brother. That's right. And we have to come into the spirit of the second man from heaven. He even told you, thou shalt not abhor Edomite, for he is thy brother. Thou shalt not abhor. That's Deuteronomy 23. That's it. You know what? Brother, look. Let's go, let's continue. Let's go on. Go over to chapter 43 and read verse 1. Just to establish how we feel and how God feels about his people, Israel. But remember, all who are in Israel truly are not Israel. Go ahead. But now, thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. So we belong to God. Israel, yes, belongs to God and his chosen servant. Skip the verse 10 and continue, please. Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, and my servant, whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. Mm. I, even I, am the Lord, and besides me there is no Savior. I have declared and have saved, and I have showed whom there was no strange God among you. Therefore ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, that I am God. This is what he's saying. I showed myself unto y'all when there was no strange God among mm -hmm. y'all. So we're supposed to be verily as a kingdom and nation of priests. We're supposed to be fit in the Lord to teach people about him because we had him and had no strange God. But the other nations have had strange gods, and they're supposed to be shown how to turn unto him. Mm -hmm. Brother... Let us go now to the book of Acts, because now that I've done that, let's get back to the matter at hand. But I just want to establish, we can go tit for tat and be petty and try to talk about all the promises of Israel. We know this, but do you know how many sons and daughters of Israel will not get to enjoy that promise because of what? Sin. Mm -hmm. That's right. Transgression of law. Some cat talking about ain't going to be no Israelites in, 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 in the uh, lake of fire because it said all Israel shall be saved. You better get the understanding in the context of that text, brother. He also tell you, man, yeah, not all. It's ripped out of Israel. So who is they? Who are they? With the all. Um, let's go to Acts 13, brother. I want, I want to go to something here, man, that was going on in the days of Paul. And I want to show something that started happening, man. And Paul and them was preaching. Now, this one might make some cats upset and angry, but that's not really my concern. I'm here to uh, speak to those who really want to hear the truth. <clears throat> Acts chapter 13, start at 14. Acts 13, 14. But when they departed from Perga, they came unto Antioch and Pisidia, and went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and sat down. And after the reading of the law and the prophets, the ruler of the synagogue sent unto them, saying, Ye men and brethren, if ye have any word of exhortation for the people, say on. Then Paul stood up and beckoning with his hand said, Men of Israel, and ye that fear God, give audience. So he's talking to the men of Israel. Right. And a conjunction word, mm -hmm. ye that fear God. He could have just said ye men of Israel. He not talking to Israel twice. No. Ye no. men of Israel and you others here that fear God. Because yeah, that's right, that's right. It seemed to be somebody else in the room. Was it? We're going to find out. Brother, skip down to verse 26 and continue. Men and brethren, 